What's up everybody, how you doing? Ryan Napton here, ABC's The Snowboarding. Today is C, but it's actually ABC. Always be carving, carving. So when you can, always be carving. If you're in the trees, powder, uh, moguls, you know, there's a lot of conditions, a lot of terrain that's it's impossible to carve. A carved turn is a pencil line track from your board's side cut tilted on edge and following the nose to tail following so uh, there are tons of conditions that you won't be carving but whenever you're on nice smooth runs carving should be your goal if, especially if you want to get really good at snowboarding and uh, so I'll give a couple little tips for that but this whole ABC's series actually came from an Instagram user he uh, uh, last year I made a video and uh, he posted on there a stories what I learned from Ryan Napton always ABC's always be carving and uh, so yeah it all stems from that so thanks for the idea on this but uh, yes always be carving on steep terrain it can be very very tough to keep uh, you know speed low enough to actually carve so uh, on steeper terrain here's a couple things that I do often this isn't the steepest run but I'll just go down and make one big toe side and just by these type of turns spending hours and hours and hours on that edge where and then you know thinking about how how to find a very efficient body position to achieve a carved turn that's what's going to make the difference get a little speed going and try to cut up the hill like that and then go back and look at your track Pretty soft snow today, but uh, still a decent track. Same with the heel side. Safe, safety look. Good looking track again. Another practical application for carving on a little steeper train constantly thrown in speed checks bring it back into a speed that is manageable if you're going too fast it's almost impossible to carve and leave perfectly clean pencil line tracks that resemble your sideboard side cut Definitely no shame in adding those little speed checks, those little side slips in between some carbs. As soon as you're going too fast where you feel like you're going to blow out, just bring it back into speed, then re-engage that edge, make it a carve turn again. It sure beats skidding every damn turn down, so and that's what most people do on this run. From a theoretical standpoint, uh, I kind of think about it like uh, 1997, I took a terrible slam, caught my heel side edge, ooh, right onto my back and ass, and uh, yeah, it was hurt for a while, but uh, I remember reading Tony Robbins, Awaken the Giant Within, and basically he had a concept of if you want to become an expert at something quickly, instead of reading one book on it and thinking that's it, dive in, quit watching TV and stuff, dive in, watch 10 books on the subject, find other ex industry experts on the topic and learn as much as you possibly can so you have all these different point points of view rather than just mildly going into it. So I think for my, my carving, since I'm always doing these kind of edge to edge to edge, you do it over and over and over, you figure out efficient body positions and those transitions between the carved turns are very seamless for me now. Because like on a, flat, on a flat area, instead of just standing there lazy, I'll just start rocking the board. Boom, edge to edge to edge. And then as soon as I get going more speed, those little turns, you basically have to start turning into bigger turns. So yeah, I'll just have out a couple moguls here and it won't be carved turns, but then there I'll go slow and demonstrate that. I tried to make that cool, but just failed miserably. Ah! Here we have a flatter section, and this will be great for just practicing rocking the board back and forth. As soon as I get going too fast, whoosh, turn it into bigger carve turns. But it's all about always be carving all those transitions. Think about it doing tens of thousands of times over the season, rather than just boringly standing on your board going down that type of train. Thank you. 
So yeah, always be carving when possible. And uh, basically by just doing it over and over and over, whenever you're thinking like, wait, am I carving or just skidding turns? Try to slow it down. Think about how to carve again. P think about, you know, pressure from your boots into your your shins, into your front of your boots for those toe side carves. Think about the pressure of your boots into the bindings high backs to apply pressure into the into your heel side edge. And yeah, it's just about thinking about it, slowing it down often. But if you're always carving like that, ooh, you're gonna be so much better at snowboarding. Much less likely to catch edges too, because you don't really catch edges when you're carving. When you're skidding turns, if you put the wrong edge down, ooh, that's when you can hook it bad. But uh, yes, thank you all for subscribing to this ABCs of snowboarding. Can't wait to give you a whole ton more tips that I got in mind. Thank you all for watching. Happy shredding and kapow. I don't even ride pipe anymore, but this thing at Breck, ooh, it's fun!